Are we in a recession? Are we in an economic downfall? A lot of people are listening or watching the wrong things. I would highly suggest people that I'm doing this to watch what Jerome Powell says. You probably don't know who Jerome Powell is. Jerome Powell is the chairman of the Federal Reserve. You got interest rates, you have mortgage crisis, you have a lot of things that are happening right now. I'm telling my friends, I'm telling my family, winter is coming. What about what I mean about winter is coming? We might need to store up a little bit. We might need to save a little bit more. We might not want to go out there and splurge and buy the, the high price brands, whatever. Nike, Adidas, I'm not down in them. Air Jordans, maybe you want to go ahead and, and go into your bargain store. The reason why I'm saying this, there's a lot of people living like the Joneses. They're looking at their neighbor to the left. They're looking at their neighbor to the right and want to be just like them. Going poor, losing money, going bankrupt to impress somebody else. That's not the way my friends and my family. That's not the way. So winter's coming. We're September, October coming, November, December. People wanna buy Christmas presents. People wanna go ahead and go shopping, those types of things. Ask yourself the question, are you preparing for that? What I teach is budgeting, controlling your spending. Control spending, savings, then if you want to invest, you can invest. But a lot of people are spending more than they make. They are spending more than the income that is coming in. They have more month left after the money. Money's gone. But you find yourself, ask yourself the question. Are you finding yourself on the 28th, 29th, the third of the month, just scrounging and looking for just to pay the bills. Paying Peter to, to pay Paul, robbing Peter to pay Paul, I should say. Are you doing that? That is not the way, my friends. That is not the way, my family. I, I just want to come on here. This is not a long video, but really pay attention. A lot of people are going to be distracted by a whole lot of things. Government, politics, all of that. Pay attention to what the World Health Organization is saying. Pay attention to what the World Economic Forum is saying. Go out and look at the New York Fed. Go out and look at the Atlanta Fed, the Kansas City Fed, the Dallas Fed. Because this money with this inflation, the same $1 right now today is not going to be the same $1 tomorrow. It's losing its value because of inflation. We may have raises. I'm retired military, retired Marine. If we have a 6% pay raise as far as retirement, but inflation is 7%. You do the math. <laughs> Back in the day, that math ain't math. And somebody said that math ain't math. It just doesn't add up. So I'm sitting outside this classroom right now. When I was in high school, it taught basic economics. I went through high school in 1987 to 1991. No one talked about 1973 market crashes. No one's talked about 1987. There was a 1987 stock market crash when I started high school, but no one said anything about it. There's probably not teaching the financial crisis of 2007, 2008. It's probably not taught at this high school. But I want to make sure if I have something that I know that I feel that's coming on, that's going on, I want to share it to my, my friends, my family, all of you, because I want all of us to win. I want all of us to rise. I want all of us to achieve. So when it comes down to finance, keep it simple. If you can't afford it, don't do it. Don't live beyond your means. Live below your means. Don't go out there and live like the Joneses. My last name is Hey, unless you're Jones. Don't do that. Because you're setting your son, your daughter, people that you love the most up for failure. 
They want to go out there and buy this, and buy, but they can't because we made wrong decisions in regards to our finances. So if you like the video, if this added value to you, please subscribe, like, comment, share. I want to bring more videos like this as far as finance. That is kind of my wheelhouse. I love that. I love finances. I, I, love, inv I love fitness, finance, faith. So you're going to get this on this channel. Fitness, finance, and faith on this channel with leadership and all of that. God bless you. To God be all the glory. Talk to you soon.